Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Pennington and I am going to show you some really cute things you can do with your empty 5 milliliter uh, Young Living essential oil bottles. I'm an essential oil junkie and so I am crazy about my Young Living essential oils and I'm equally crazy about the people that I work with that are members with me and so I love to do fun things for them. Today while I'm showing you this, I'm diffusing Envision this bottle. Look at the label. <laughs> this bottle is well loved. I love the bottle, the oil Envision. I started using it when Valor went out of stock um, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, and I really like it. So I'm diffusing it right now uh, as I talk to you. Okay, so I want to show you some things that you do, you can do with your empty bottles. First, let's talk about getting the label off. This is a bottle of Digize that we are finished with clearly very well used and it's empty and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up and take the label off. The labels are so easy to get off. They're actually made to pull off. Okay, see I didn't practice. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Duh. They're made to pull off so you just start on a corner and this bottle has really really seen better days so it's kind of gummy but usually they come off super easily like just there you go just come straight off. And there are supplement facts underneath there, but I never look at those because I don't want my labels to, the label doesn't typically stick back down real well. So once you get it past there, it peels off really, really easily. Okay, there's a little um, bit here. My kids use this and so they probably get it icky, you know, oily hands back on the bottle. And now we're gonna throw away the label and look how easy that is. Almost no residue is left. What residue there is left behind is really easy to get off. You can just take some lemon and a paper towel and put a drop of lemon on the paper towel and just rub it on your bottle and it will get all that residue off. Just takes like hardly any time at all. Okay, this actual bottle of lemon is another one I'm going to work with in a minute because it is also empty. <laughs> I run out of lemon a lot. Okay, once you have your bottle ready, um, your label off, then you want to clean up your bottle. Sometimes there are, um, you know, hand, you know, just from touching this with your hands, it'll be a little bit dirty on the lid. What I will do with that to get that off is I will take some thieves cleaner, just a diluted, some that's been diluted in um, a spray bottle, and I will spray it onto a nail brush with a little bit of water, and I will scrub the whole thing. Keep the lid on the, the bottle while you're trying to clean it. If you take the lid off, it's harder to manage, so just clean it on the bottle. Once you're finished cleaning, I'm gonna take it off, and you can pop this orifice reducer right off. Wow, it smells like Digize in there. And then you can clean this out. I will um, soak them in um, a soak with some Thieves Cleaner. Just put a little stainless steel bowl and put some water in it and put a cap full of Thieves Cleaner in it. And once you've brushed it off, open it all up with the orifice reducer out, the lid off, put them all down in there and let them soak for about an hour. That'll really clean them, then rinse them really well, then dry them really well, and they will be ready for you to put um, do something else with. So I love to send oils to my Young Living members and sometimes I'll buy bottles, but I have so many of these left over that I thought I should come up with a way to just use these. So I will either send them an oil that a blend that I've made with the clean orifice reducer or you can take the orifice reducer off and add a Aroma Glide roller filament to it. You can buy these from Young Living. They come in packs of 10. They're like maybe five bucks or something. They're super affordable. I'm gonna show you how to get that on. So you just, again, you can see I'm not using any tool. There it went. There go on the floor is my uh, orifice reducer and I'm gonna put the roller on it. So I'm gonna put the roller on and it's still loose. I'm just setting it on there. And then I'm going to screw the cap on as tight as I can. There we go. And that made the roller ball, that roller filament go all the way down. I don't have to push on it and fight with it. It's that easy. Okay, I'm going to show you a few things. The labels that I like to make with my Cricut for these bottles. So I love to make some big 
cheerful labels. I like to mo mostly keep them in a circle. I think that fits really nicely on the bottle. This would be one that I would use for like a happiness oil. I would put some um, joy in there or make my own combo. There's all kinds of happiness blends you can look up on Google, but isn't that cute? So all I did was this actually, I did no altering to it. There's just a little smiley face already in the Cricut design space. And I made it, for all of these small bottles, I make them one inch. I really want it to go almost top to bottom on the bottle and fill up the entire thing just for the cuteness factor. I like things to be exaggeratedly large. So this might be one that would be like a happiness blend. You can see here, I have one that's like a sleepy. Same thing, I did nothing to him, I just uh, made him small. And I wanna show you one of the things I do when I wanna put the stickers on. I will take, some, in order to keep my bottle from rolling, I will take some washi tape, love washi tape, It's you can buy it anywhere, almost anywhere now, and it's got a stickiness more like a post-it note, and I will roll it up, and I will stick some on a piece of paper, and that way now I have a little uh, place to hold my bottle, and I can work with it better. And so now I can get my get it to stay still and not roll around while I put my sticker on. My Envision bottle has got two pieces of washi tape under it to hold it down while I work so we can all see what oil I'm diffusing. So let me show you a couple more that I made. Here is one for puppy dogs, a little paw. And here I might put some tea away to share with a friend who has a nervous dog. Tea away is for dogs that struggle with just being a little bit nervous sometimes. So I might dilute a little of this, although it is already diluted, and put some in here and share it with my friend, or maybe I would just put it on my own shelf for the super cuteness. Another one I made is Thinking. Look at the little uh, light bulb. Same, I did nothing to alter this, I just made it this size. Um, this would be maybe one for studying, trying to get your brain to work, having a day where you just can't think. Maybe I would put brain power or clarity or some a uh, combination of brain power and peppermint in here. Uh, anything to help you think clearly. Here's one for outside in the summertime. It's just a cute little bug on a black circle. I might, I would definitely put purification and peppermint in this. That is one that you really want for the summertime and I thought he was so cute. Again, he came exactly like this. I did nothing to change it. And then a couple of them I did change. This one says just relax. The Just Relax was already an image, and all I did was pull out a circle from the shapes option and just put a circle behind it. I think that's really cool. In my Just Relax, I might put, um, oh gosh, there's so many oils that calm me down. Maybe Peace and Calming. I might make my own combo. I don't know. In my little, little nighttime oil, I would put probably some lavender and some cedar wood. It's really up to you what you want in your oils. And so I was gonna show you another option. It's a cute thing, if you don't wanna send someone like um, already made oils, but you just wanna send someone a gift of what to do with their empty bottles, you could make a bunch of these stickers and make a little set and send them to your friend. And just be like, here's something to do with your empty bottles. And this is a little sunshine for like being out in the sun. I would definitely put some lavender in there. Here I did just make a word, it's Valor, it's on a circle, and if I wanted to share Valor, now that it's back in stock, we can share it again, we don't have to hoard it, and this is just on a circle, and then this is some peppermint, a piece of peppermint, I thought he was super cute, and this is from a Christmas um, design that had like a candy wrapper in the background, and I just ungrouped them and pulled that piece of peppermint off of it, super easy. So if I wanted to send someone uh, a little bit of pep a little bit of mint maybe personally I really love peppermint but I also love spearmint I would probably put a combination of peppermint and spearmint in there maybe I would do like a two to one ratio so two peppermint drops of peppermint to one drop of spearmint put some v6 in there and you're gonna have oh dreamy I'm gonna have to make one right now and I know you guys can figure this out but it's super easy well let me tell you one more tip as you're layering, because this has two layers, this little sun, believe it or not, has a, a brown background, so it has three layers. The Valor sticker has two layers. Layer them on your sticker paper. Don't try to put the circle on and then try to put the next layer on the bottle. Get them all layered up 
already on your sticker paper and then just you so easy to stick on your bottle just center it on there and bam look how easy that is isn't that the cutest thing wouldn't that be fun for Christmas all right now he's stuck wouldn't that be a cute roller to send somebody for Christmas time a little roller of peppermint or put it in a top like this for them to, uh, with a with an orifice reducer and let them send it to uh, put it in their diffuser so these are all so cute. I've made another card just to show you one other thing. This little, these little um, washi tape idea is so great if you want to photograph your oils. You can make little cards and get them. Let's see, I'm just gonna stick a few on there and get them. And look, they will just stay exactly where you want. And you don't. And then you can take some really cute photos as opposed to this. Like you can't get it to stay exactly how you want it to. And so those are my ideas, some super cute set of things to do with your empty essential oil bottles. You can also put one on a 15 milliliter. I'll just show you this is a bottle of Abundance that I just finished using. I'm going to show you. Let's see. I have not um, started this one, but usually these are easy to get off to. See how easy that is? Y'all, this Abundance is one that I use every single day. Um, this would be really fun with the Ula set. Again, this is pretty gooey, but if I put some lemon on it, it's just, it's going to wipe off pretty well. And then wouldn't this be cute just to show you the proportion? I think I would still just do the same size sticker, the one inch, because on the 15 milliliter bottle, I think they were big enough and it would look really cute. So there you go. Some fun ideas to make sticker labels for your empty bottles. Fill them up with something fun, send them to a friend, or just send a set of stickers to your team. You could sit and make a bunch of them and send them out as a team reward gift or just a thank you. So um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Check out my other videos and follow me on the penningtonpoint.com where I have lots of great tips for how to use your oils, how to use your Cricut, how to love your friends, and I'll see you around. Thanks.